Welcome to this quick overview of SPSS. SPSS used to stand for Statistical Package for the Social Sciences, but they let go of the meaning of the abbreviation and just kept it as SPSS. Uh, IBM took over SPSS uh, a few years ago and tried to change it to Predictive Analytical Software Statistics, PASW Statistics, but now it's back to SPSS. I'm using version 23 and after you started it up you might get a message about encoding to use either Unicode or local. Doesn't matter much which one you choose for the basics. Um, and then you're welcomed by a screen like this, a splash screen welcome dialog, uh, which is slightly different in each version. I'll click it OK, uh, click it away. And I already opened up a document. Um, yours will probably look completely blank and this is what is known as a data file. In SPSS it might at first sight look like Excel or another spreadsheet program, but it works nothing like it. There are only two tabs at the bottom, data view and variable view, and that's it. You can open up any file just as in any program by file open or file a new. As you notice there are data files, there are syntax files which is like the programming language output files and scripts. In this course we'll mainly focus on data files and output files. Here's an example and I'll see all the cases of what everybody actually answered. Up here is a little value labels option which switches between either the numeric representations or what they actually stood for. So a file can look quite different depending on if this is on or off. The option is also available under View, Value Labels. In the Variable View, you'll actually see all the variables that were used and their possible values. How to enter and create something like this, also known sometimes as a codebook, is explained in some separate videos. Whenever you do an analysis, for example a frequency table, I'll quickly do one, then a new window will pop up, which is known as the output window. Here the results of any analysis will actually be shown. It usually starts with some syntax, which is that programming language, and then shows the result. This is a separate file and is no longer really linked to the previous to the data file. So if I change something in here, this table will actually not change anymore. On the other hand, why would you change your original data? And so, in Excel you're used to often that things change automatically. Here you will actually have to redo the analysis if you change your data. These files are separate and can be stored separate as well. Now, this is a very quick intro on SPSS and just to get yourself familiar with data view and variable view. And, uh, all these different menu items we'll be seeing coming across in the future. Uh, how to enter a survey is actually uh, the next step and is discussed in three separate videos.